Montpellier were hosting Clermont in midweek for a match day 8 replay behind closed doors. The initial clash having been struck off after some crowd trouble at the end of the game. The hosts were looking to bounce back after defeat here at the weekend against Brest. While the visitors have seen their good run of form come to an abrupt end after a heavy defeat to Lens at home. Clermont without their suspended manager Pascal Gastien. But nevertheless starting out on the front foot. Moridiao sending a long ball up to Alevina. Finding Cham who played it back for Gonalon. The midfield lined up his shot and sent a rocket into the top corner from range. The veteran midfielder opening his account for the campaign in style and scoring his first ever goal from outside the box. Montpellier were looking for an instant response as Savanier's free kick went all the way to Wabi Kazri on the left. The number 10 trying his luck from the angle. But Moridiao was able to get down to his near post in time. Long-range specialist Deji Savanier was looking to try his luck as well. But Diao again able to parry it away. But there was some action on the touchline as well as Michel Darzakarian saw a second yellow card and was sent to the stands. Deji Savanier with another chance to strike from the free kick. Sent it towards the top corner, but Yao again able to keep it out. Montpellier with the most chances in the first half, but it's the visitors who had the lead, thanks to a sensational strike from Gonalon. The hosts having to make do with a double blow as Maxime Estev and Jordan Ferry both came off injured in the first half. Both teams now without their head coaches. Montpellier were looking to turn up the intensity in search of the equaliser. The ball falling to Kazri on the left, tried to catch out Dior again, but the Clermont keeper was away to the shot. Clermont had chances to double the lead as well. Konate breaking forward down the right and pulling it back for Cham who gets the shot away but could only find the side netting. Savanier looking to orchestrate the comeback and finding Norda at the back post. Tried his luck at the half volley, but Keita was there to block it on his line. Still no way through for La Payette in the final five minutes, throwing everything at Clermont. Savanier trying his luck after some pinball in the box and it hit Auger's hand. Referee Florent Bata pointing straight to the spot. The handball decision was confirmed and Montpellier were awarded the penalty. Savanier stepped up and dispatched past Dior to level it up. The captain ever reliable from the spot. Clermont had one last chance to take the three points as Zifans swung in from wide. But Lecon was able to push it out of danger. And Montpellier managed to salvage a draw at the death, but remained without a win in their last month. Clermont missed out on a win that would have lifted them out of the relegation zone. The host with constant waves of attacks, but goalkeeper Mori Diao instrumental in keeping his team in the game.